I think in 1972 they budgeted around $40,000 for women's athletics and by the time you tie in the administrative and support services and the financial aid, the operations, the salaries, we will be just slightly over a million dollars here in 1979-80, so a few things have happened. Title IX is legislation that just ensures that women have the same amount of opportunities in education as men do. There's certainly 37 words that changed opportunity for women. I mean, I think originally it started out as more of the educational side and they put a little segment in there about all activities surrounding, which really included sports and it's been a game changer for sure for women. Title IX has allowed women to be administrators. Our senior leadership group has women in that, a lot of women, and that's very important. Coverage for sports information. Before, you would never have seen an article in the paper about women or there were games on TV, and that's all positive. And you know, MSU does a great job of supporting that and getting that out there, get the stories out there for the women. So all those things are because of Title IX. In June, we launched our year-long celebration of the 50th anniversary of Title IX, which was signed in 1972. We look forward to celebrating this monumental anniversary throughout the year. My mom didn't have access to sport. And so for me coming into this role, and I'm the head coach of a you know, Big Ten program, and which is my wildest dreams. You know, I'm more or less a first-generation college graduate, nonetheless a Big Ten coach. I had a full scholarship to go on and play in college, and we had a great coach, a great atmosphere. And I saw differences back then. I look back and I always loved playing before the men because we would get a great crowd, but I know now we can get a great crowd without playing a doubleheader with the men. My mom played college softball and she had opportunity to play. She enjoyed playing her sport, led her program to a lot of success, but still experienced a little bit of a discrepancy between the way that they were treated versus men's sports. The effects of anything that creates change is gonna have a dialogue that comes from every angle. There's something for everyone if we look at it differently. Oftentimes it's just money. And you know we use that as our out to take from someone and give to someone else. And so I think learning through Title IX has helped me navigate those conversations differently because I want men's sports to be great. I want them to have everything. I just want us to have the same. Cheryl, a lot of our viewers are familiar with how hard it is to be a football player and a student at the same time. What's it like being a volleyball player and a student? I think harder than being a football player. Uh, we put in a lot of time practicing. Um, we practice from three to six every day. And the schoolwork is hard too, especially if you're holding you know, more than 12 credits ball term and I have 14. It's just really eye-opening to hear those stories of all the fighting that the woman before us had to do to get us to where we are now but also remember that there's still work to be done in that sense and we're always still fighting together. If it weren't for those women taking a stand, I couldn't imagine a world where I wouldn't be allowed to compete in sport. And that would be a huge loss because running is something I love. It's how I've met all of my friends and it's what makes me feel whole. I couldn't imagine a childhood where I wasn't trying to perform at this highest stage and now that I'm here, it's allowing me to have that dream even, where a few years ago, I, they didn't have that opportunity, which is a really humbling thing to think about. One of the ways I think is really important for us as Michigan State Athletics to honor the legislation and what Title IX means is to recognize and celebrate the women who have come before, who have challenged our institution, who have challenged our leaders to find their space and place. And they pushed so that our student athletes now could be and could do the things that they're doing. Female athletes have more of a voice than they've ever had before. I didn't have that. So as I've watched this evolve in just even the last decade and what social media has been able to do, I'm really proud to see women standing up and student athletes standing up. Coach Johnson talks about all the time about us standing on the shoulders of all the women who have gone before us, all the work that they've put in to push the envelope a little bit to say like, hey, there's not equal representation here. I'm looking for institutions donors, fans, support networks to step up to the occasion so there isn't a loss for someone else in order to honor something that should not have been built to destroy something else. 
And that's, that's a style approach and we just need to be better at it. We need to have those conversations more in depth. Celebrating our history of women in sports at Michigan State is gonna be extremely important and I think it'll be impactful. It'll give our student athletes now an opportunity to have a better understanding of our history, of the women who've paved the way, but also give us an opportunity to celebrate how far we have come and, and give us an opportunity to give them the recognition that they deserve and also connect with the community. There's a number of individuals in this community who have been instrumental in the success of our athletics department, in the success of our programs. And by celebrating and honoring them, I think that's another way we celebrate and honor those who have come before us.